DVD games were a strange phenomena, weren't they? Games that weren't really games, games for people who didn't like games. For the most part, they were just quizzes, occasionally interrupted by a celebrity with their legs cut off, telling you how bad you were doing. Hello, and welcome to the Fat Fighters Quiz for Fatties. Scary stuff, really. But for whatever reason, when they hit the UK shelves in the early 2000s, people went mad for them. You couldn't go to your local supermarket without seeing an interactive DVD spin-off from some shitty TV game show. I don't know if it was the same situation elsewhere in the world, but virtually every British TV game show at the time had its own DVD game. Name a British TV game show from 2000 to 2010, and I can guarantee it has a DVD game. Go on, look it up, I promise you, any one of them. Welcome to Big Brother, the game. They were a curse upon family gatherings that seemed like they would never end. Sitting with your grandma as she wins £250,000 on the Deal or No Deal game for the 10th time that night. A living nightmare. Thankfully, DVD games have now finally died, but we've been left with the spectres that haunt charity shops and dusty corners of our attics. Welcome to my Top Gear Interactive Challenge Quiz Disc Game Challenge Disc. Ghosts of media gone by. We fear facing up to these phantoms because they might suck us into their world of 30 second music loops and horrible menus. But I can't live in fear anymore. It's time to face my demons head on. I must rid the hood arcade of these frighteningly shit DVD games. It's time. Whoa. Oh god. <sighs> the most cursed DVD game of them all. The most haunted interactive DVD game. I must beat it to rid the arcade of the ghost of DVD games once and for all. Let's do it. If you've never heard of Most Haunted before, let me fill you in. It's an iconic bit of British television that began life in 2002. Technically, it's a reality TV show, but it's about ghosts, so I guess it depends what your definition of reality is. Each episode saw presenter Yvette Field and go with a team of geezers to one of the supposedly most haunted buildings in the UK. The main focus of the show, however, was the medium, the fella that claimed he could speak to ghosts. He would essentially guess shit about the building or regurgitate shit that he had already clearly researched. They'd then turn the lights off, turn the night vision on, and it would all kick off. Confrontation! Women. See your breasts. Yeah, don't you like women? When sh I speak loudly. Well, try to whistle. Oh, piss off. There, right there. Something was there. I'll tell you now, something was there. I'm serious. On my life, something was there. Something was there. So basically the same as every other paranormal TV show you've ever seen. But it's hard to state just how big of a phenomena this was when it first came out. I remember they used to do live broadcast shows and my mom would watch them and I'd watch them with her. And they'd have people call in and encourage you to say whether you'd seen anything spooky on the broadcast or if anything spooky was happening in your house whilst you were watching the show. Which seemed completely irrelevant but, but people bought into it. It was a big deal in the UK in the time and obviously as like an 8 year old I fully bought into this shit too. I thought it was all real. The biggest star that ever came out of this show was the legendary psychic medium Derek Akora. As far as I'm concerned all of these mediums were bullshit artists but Derek was the absolute master. He took things to a new level and would regularly be possessed on the show leading to some Oscar worthy moments of hilarity that have thankfully been immortalised online. Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. You see your breasts? Yes, I do, yeah. Derek has nothing to do with this game at all, but the clips are funny in it, so I just wanted to show you them. Uh, I didn't mean to say funny, Derek, sorry, I meant uh, scary, scary clips. Mind-boggling. 
How, how did you do those things? How the ghost? How did you speak to the ghost, Derek? Uh, please don't haunt me. So out of all the shows to have a DVD game, a paranormal reality TV show seemed without doubt the weirdest. I had no idea what I was in for when I hit play on this relic from 2007, but thankfully, Yvette's floating heed was there to explain it all. I've worked with a lot of mediums in my time. Through this game, I will decide whether you have what it takes to decipher the most subtle spirits and truly be a medium yourself. Yes, you heard correctly. The challenges enclosed within this DVD are about to give me spiritual powers. I'm about to become a psychic medium. I've been waiting all my life for this moment. Come on, hit me with it. What have I got? Oh, it's just a quiz, obviously. That's um, brilliant. Piss off! So the name of the game is you pick a haunted house, in my case Lord Farquhar's castle, and in each room of the building you face a different challenge. If you get all of the questions and puzzles right, at the end of this seance bit, these creepy shadow folk will give you good information on what some ghost looks like. You then remember that information so you can answer all of the vet's guess who style questions. If you get them all right, she then officially grants you the title of psychic medium. And you can now go around the country ripping off vulnerable people as much as your heart desires. The first room consists of watching a really boring clip from the show before answering a question like, what colour was the wallpaper? Honestly, who thought this would be entertaining, man? Seriously. Derek, 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 Derek. Derek. Then you've got room two, a children's game of Spot the Difference, renamed as Spot the Spook. There are no ghosts involved, it's just tiny little differences. It's sometimes really easy and sometimes impossible because the grid is just in the way of the difference, so that's good. The third room is just a quiz. The questions are sometimes about ghost stuff, but mostly they're about horror movies and shit that I've just never heard of. Because of course, horror movie knowledge is essential for a good psychic medium. Who the fuck is Bella Lugosi, man? And why should I care, man? Why does this matter? All the horror guys in the comments right now are typing, how come you don't know who Bella Lugosi is? Absolute legend. I don't know, bro. I just watch James Wan films, man. I, I don't know. I don't care about Bella Lugosi. If it's not James Wan, if it's not The Nun 2, why should I give a shit? Yeah? It's 2023, bro. Get with the times, man. Room four, it's listen to a clip until a specific year is mentioned, then choose it, and, and that's it. Bags of fun there, lots of fun. After that, number five, the final room, has a super fun game of guess what happens next in this episode of Most Haunted that you've never seen. Now, this may sound difficult, but if you just always pick the most boring option out of the three, then you want to a winner. So either the curtains close by themselves, which would be pretty spooky, it goes dark outside suddenly, which would also be very spooky, or the medium guesses that there used to be a window there, which would be incredibly boring because there already is a window there. It would not be entertaining at all. Definitely, that's the answer. How would he have ever known that that window was there? It's as if maybe he did some research before he came and, you know, or maybe he had to speak to a ghost to find out whether that window used to be there. Oh, I wonder if they had Google in 2007. Oh yeah, they did. They did have Google in 2007. The whole thing is just terrible, obviously, it's a DVD game. But I've got to give them some credit that they went a little different to the usual DVD game quiz-only format. They had to, the developers, if that's what you call DVD game creators. I mean, they were tasked with creating a game based on people getting excited over literal specks of dust. So, it, it was a hard ask. So I'm not taking the piss, they're not like that. There, there, right there. Dust. Anybody? <laughs> No. Despite the only frightening thing about it being how terribly boring it was, I wanted to beat it. I wanted to become a medium like my childhood hero, Derek. No, not that one. Derek Okora. Take thy hand of me, wench. Finally, after the 15 most dull minutes of me life, it was time for the final battle. I first went and listened to the shadow people who gave me some info about the ghost that I needed to identify. The green one sort of looks like the silhouette of James May, which is a strange coincidence because that's one of the other DVD games that I've already destroyed. Bizarre, creepy, spooky, and if anything, absolute proof of the spiritual world. Now it was time for the real boss battle, the test. Five questions that I needed to get all right to win and become a pro ghost ally. It was time for full concentration. was immaculate. You no doubt have the powers to be a successful medium. Your senses are finely tuned and your contact with the other side is impressive. 
Congratulations. Well, that was easier than expected. It's as if all you need to become a psychic medium is an extensive knowledge of horror movies and the ability to recall information that someone else had already told you about 10 minutes before when someone's asking you about it, information that you already knew. Wow, that does actually sort of check out. Now with my psychic medium powers, I can finally rid the arcade of this curse. <laughs> Happy Halloween, thanks for watching. I promise I'm never gonna play another DVD game ever on this channel, and I want you to promise me the same thing. Don't be playing them at home. Just don't. It's not cool, it's not big, it's not clever. You know, no one's gonna give you a Blue Peter badge. Bin them, bin them all. And hit subscribe, obviously, while you're at it, if you enjoyed the video. If you've got this far, comment the word ghost below, and I'll know you've came and watched the thing all the way through, and I'll reply to you and shout you out in the next video in the same way that I'm shouting out these guys here that commented the special word on the other video, the previous video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time at the Hood Arcade in a bit.